Hi my loves, welcome to my channel. This is Ocean Intuitive Tarot. I hope you're cozy. I hope you can grab a cup of tea, something, so that you can be relaxed while listening to this reading. And let's uh, find out today what people who hurt you are thinking about you right now. So what people who hurt you are thinking about you right now. We have here a crystal for first group right first group and this is your image second group crystal and this is your image third group crystal and this is your image all right my love so you will have the timestamps in the description box and uh, feel uh, the one that you are most drawn to take your time and we are going to see each other in your readings bye Hi my dears, welcome to group number one. If you chose this group, this is your reading my loves. So very, very interesting reading my dears. Now, what are they thinking about you? What do these people that hurt you uh, are thinking about you? First of all, that you are someone that are not you are not easy to um, you know to be down or to put down or to to crash and you really show them the power that you have there is here a very big demonstration of power of someone that really was able to see things clearly and stand up for their beliefs for what they want because in their eyes this situation would be enough to crush anyone you know but it wasn't the case with you you showed big amounts of strength in this situation so there was a situation here I believe even a love offer that was not accepted uh, because there's something happened here that you saw perfectly it was something very near to affect you very very near to affect you my dears uh, even near to take some resources uh, from you but you stood in your power you believed that you can could save yourself you believed in yourself though you were perhaps being threatened by these energies of these people you really believed in yourself you stood confidence confident you said no to these people or to this person and the wheel turned in your favor you saw the darkness here that you had to see because sometimes we need to see who is our who are our friends who are not who are going to be there for us who are not going to be there for us sometimes we need to see that all right can we trust these people can we not trust these people and we you really saw the dark side of the picture and that's why you uh, because you were able to see it you were able to see a while probably a lot of people would close their eyes not you you were really able to see it so this person people are thinking that you had demonstrated a big power inside of you someone that really holds a fire energy inside of them with knowledge and is not afraid to see what is a friend in front of their eyes right so there's something here that you realize about this group of people or about this person uh, that it was clear in the middle of the darkness it was like clear as um, you know a, a bright light 
and you didn't lose your capacity to love but you still uh, hold hold it held your power you still held your power you still understood that yes i have this here but it's protected and i'm only giving this beautiful love and these people are thinking that you have a lot to offer all right you have a lot to offer here or this person is is thinking that what you have is precious and you know how to protect it you don't give uh, that that treasure that you have inside of you to just anybody and you were able to stand in your truth you were able to defend your beliefs and to see eye to eye you were very direct with what you wanted and what you didn't want and you stood in your power believing that everything that you want is possible in your life and you are go not going to stay for less than what you want these people are saying that the tower didn't come to you and it, the tower moment you didn't uh, you were able to stand firm all right stand firm in who you are and what should be defeating for you it was not so these people who hurt you are understanding that you were so powerful that you could stand in your feet and going into the direction of your dreams protecting the special what is special inside of you even protecting your dreams all right and knowing what was happening so these these people were very surprised here that you were able to see things clearly you were able to see things even when they were hidden because i can see here the wheel turning in your favor when you realize something that was hidden from you you realize that some people were fake here or were faking something and you just turn your will into the other di direction direction of success direction of your ambitions direction of your dreams direction of your groundness of your confidence of everything that you want to materialize in your life you change your direction from even this heartbreak because if this was with one person it was a heartbreak if this was with a group of people perhaps they betrayed you right you were able to save yourself you were your own saver and you collected the fruits of someone that didn't crash in this in this moment but was able to stand firm in their ground even though suffering all right even though suffering but still standing firm and you were able to take your, the fruits even though there was so much heartbreak there so you stood firm you didn't allow whatever happened to break your foundation you didn't allow what happened to break your resources because they tried they tried but you stood still there is something about your ancestors my loves there is a strength that perhaps you uh, channeled from your ancestor line and if you if you're not aware of this it might be very important uh, important for you to go to your story of your ancestors to see the lessons that they uh, had in their lives if you're divine feminine search for your divine feminine line to understand the, the what was happening there in there in that uh, in their those stories all right because it can ha help you there is something that uh, through generations 
we are trying to deal with. Some problems, they appear over generations. They are, over ge they are generational uh, problems, all right? They are going to repeat themselves. You are going to notice a pattern. And it's a pattern that you uh, are able to break. And to do it in another way. To find another solution. All right? See the pattern that is there, that needs healing. Needs healing. If you are a divine masculine, the same thing. See the pattern that is there, that really brought suffering into uh, the bloodline. All right? And understand what is repeating, what needs, what needs re healing. There was a strength here that you were able, and these people understood. It might be that you talk a lot about your family and the strength uh, of someone in your family, all right? Or it might be something unconscious that you do it, you don't understand yet, Perhaps in the future this will be and making much more sense. So they didn't see you in, um, in going in the wrong direction. They didn't see going the wrong direction and perhaps they were expecting you to start acting as they did, for example. To start acting in a, such a defensive mode that you would match their behaviors, all right? You know those circumstances where um, to defend oneself, uh, somebody or someone starts behaving without even understanding or knowing in the same way as the other, you know, the one that is hurting us. So the importance, not always uh, this is possible because sometimes we're talking about pretty serious uh, situations where we need to defend ourselves, all right? But every time, uh, and I, I'm saying these situations, for example, uh, terrible situation, as you can understand, but every time um, that you, you have the chance to let them fall in their own actions. You know, um, there is a beautiful martial art that is uh, called Aikido. And that martial art is about defense, is never about attacking. And the philosophy, if I'm not mistaken here, and I believe I'm not, is always about um, letting the attack, all right? Uh, I mean, always letting the attack pass through you. So imagine two people, the attack and the person that is being attacked. So when they know Aikido, the person that knows the, the martial art will kind of follow the movement of the attacker. He's not going to do the same. He's going to allow the movement at the same time protecting themselves so that the movement can of the attacker can also can actually be uh, it is like they are going to fall by their own actions so the the martial art practicer is is going to flow with the attacker and let the attacker fall in their own own actions you know and this is a kind of a symbol for a, a very beautiful philosophy actually is how can you protect yourselves from a difficult situation so not by attacking in the same level but protecting yourself and let the 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 action the bad action fall and um you know even uh, be bad for themselves you know what i mean because it's a kind of a karma there is a karmic action they are going on what they are doing is what they are going to receive so if you are a good practitioner of this martial art you know how to let that flow uh, and you escape you can escape you protect yourself but then the attacker is going to fall um, 
by their own actions. So uh, basically, uh, if this is a, uh, this is a symbol also for when you are being attacked. Uh, every time that you have the chance to let the people do um, the harm, all right, not protecting yourself always, protecting yourself, but in a way that you don't uh, match the attack, you know, protecting yourself in a way that they can fall in their own trap. Uh, and this way you is like allowing it to pass, allowing it to pass because they karma is going to get them eventually. Um, all right, so in mo in many cases we can do that. We can do this. In some cases in this martial art, when you allow it to pass, there is also possibility to block. Uh, there is also possibility to, it's not block, is to contain the action. So by the movement that they do, they contain the movement at a certain point. Okay, so they follow the movement and they contain it. They follow the movement, they contain it. And this reminds me, you. Because you were seeing, you saw it, so you followed the movement and you were able to contain it. All right? Um, so uh, it's, it's, it's very, very interesting that I see here that you were not lost. Uh, and these people were expecting that perhaps you were start acting in the same day, uh, way that they did, but I don't see you doing this. Actually, I see that you didn't want to go into their perspective, into their world. You prefer to stay in your creativity. You pre preferred here in this situation. This is what they are thinking. They are thinking that you pre prefer to take care of you, to take care of your, your family, people that you love to put your energy into everything that you want to attract in your life, in your dreams. Um, yes, so this was, this is what they are thinking. They are thinking that you were someone that was able to save yourselves, um, was able to protect yourselves, not uh, following or, um, you know, not going into uh, another direction that it wasn't your vibration. So you were able to stand firm in your vibration, creating with the universe. Nothing took you away from the progress, from the creation, from the abundance of your life. All right. So how they are seeing you? They are seeing you very prosperous. It can be that you are giving birth to a new project or new projects, projects and they are seeing. It might be with a group of people. It might be that you um, had a baby. It can also be possible that you're creating a family now. Um, if it's not a baby, it can be about your success. All right, it can be about your creativity projects uh, that you are very abundant at, at the moment. Uh, what they are thinking about you is that you are a winner you didn't fall for whatever they they were planning here or this person was planning here yes you were able to uh, stand up in this situation that was not easy all right my love so this is what i have for you let me know in the comments if this resonated and we will see each other next reading bye Hi my loves, welcome. If you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So what are these people who hurt you thinking about you? Now what I see here my loves is that you went through a very difficult time. These people are, are thinking um, a time where you had to battle, you really had to um, 
let us say, go uh, into the battlefield, all right? Um, and where you didn't feel like you were winning, but you didn't also feel that you were losing. It was a kind of equal, equal, but um, you learn how to do it. So these, per these people of this person is thinking that wherever you went through here, that it was difficult for you, um, you really learn how to answer to this situation. You learn how to express yourself uh, in a way that these people would understand. But you didn't learn that in the easy, easy way, my loves. No, 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 no. I believe that something went wrong here. It might be that it was a relationship that was very, very toxic, unfortunately, and it seemed so good in the beginning. It seemed very promising in the beginning, but suddenly the only way it did was to really small your light. Mm -hmm. I think you say dimmer your light in English. Yes. So um, really uh, what it did was for you to lose resources in some shape or form. Resources can be energy. Enter into a state of confusion here with this situation. All right. Now, there was a point here. There was a point here, my loves, that uh, you really try to get out of this illusion. You try to get out of this deception. And what you did was retreat your love and at a certain point what they are saying they are thinking about you right now is that at a certain point you retreated because you wanted to take care of your energy you wanted to take care of your precious energy right you face the dark you face the night and you learn how to trust, all right? Because a big part of the power of the Divine Feminine is to trust. Because Divine Feminine needs to understand that um, life is about trusting. While Divine Masculine acts to achieve, Divine Feminine trusts to receive. So there was here something, something very, very, very important for you to understand so that you could create the life that you wanted. It might be that uh, because of this energy that you found here in this connection that was very toxic with these people, with this person, um, you really had to find that emperor state, protect yourself, Go inwards. You and uh, you know you you did a personal journey, perhaps even finding that uh, divine feminine inside of you, uh, starting with uh, you know probably even even uh, a child um, inner child uh, meditations or thinking about your past. Uh, thinking how things went went in your past, uh, probably you did also understand or you went through the journey of, you know, when we have, uh, probably you also went through this, when you have a certain problem and certain, suddenly it's like memories from past hurts start uh, popping up. And all of that happens because of the root of the problem. So I believe you went to the root. Also the Empress and the Divine Feminine uh, also talks about roots, all right? That's why it's so important. Uh, it's very interesting that this illustrator, the, you know, if you, if you look at this card, the Empress is a tree, but supposedly is the, the, the part that is below, all right? I love trees and I think they have the perfect shape. Uh, actually, they, I believe that in, in a symbol, they are very, very evoluted. And I, I really love um, 
that the illustrated did, uh, you know, the night, the dark, um, and really this divine feminine, the empress, like the, the part that stands below, all right? Because it talks about the roots, it talks about roots, it talks about the element earth, it talks about the element water. So we cannot uh, go outwards. So um, I believe that all of these roots of the problems start popping up so that you can cure them and so that you could transform. So what you are saying, and of course, you know, uh, this is, is very deep for them. The only thing that they say here and they are seeing uh, about you, these people that hurt you, is that you really are in your power. You are really in a divine feminine power, all right? So this divine feminine trusts, no, it, it just knows, all right? Because the intuition is strong and attracts. And it has a very, very big power because the shadows are illuminated, yeah? So are, they are seeing you in a very high light here, in, a, in your power. They are seeing that suddenly things that uh, in, in the past were difficult for you and probably things that, you know, even parts of you that you were seeing and doubting, because I can see here some doubts uh, about your... Um, characteristics about your, how can I say this, values, you know, what is valuable in you. Other people could see them, but you were always doubting because um, something here affected your self-confidence. But now you are looking at them and you are uh, getting out of this phase, of this very difficult phase, in the power of a magician, in the power of being able to materialize what you want in life, in the power of, of starting over, all right? Even if what comes, what they are saying is that even if you don't know the future, you are in your power, you are in power empowered you know because this experience all right really uh, let you know what you needed really made you have the tools that you needed to transform and now to being able to manifest in your life a new relationship even if you like to have all right they are seeing that probably you are posting pictures on your social media, you are more confident, you exude confidence because you trust, you trust yourself now, you don't doubt yourself, you have the tools now, you understand the tools for manifestation. And they are, they are thinking that it, it was a big transformation. All right, I'm seeing here two people. I don't know why, but I'm seeing here two people that are seeing specific your transformation. And you, you are just like, I can manifest whatever I want. I can transform the situations into what uh, I would like to um, transform in. All right. There is something here. I don't know if you started, started a connection. Uh, if you did, they are seeing that. And they are thinking that right now, what you have is prosperous. What you have is secure. Now, if you're not in this stage yet, they are seeing and they are thinking that soon you are prepared to celebrate something here. 
you might have some friends that that really uh, had your back or some family you know there was something someone there is someone actually near you that is uh, celebrating with you and um, they are saying that right now you are more carefree because you trust yourself you are, are able also to be more um, playful playful with with things because you trust that life is a working for you and not against you and they are saying that in this new um, transformation the way they are seeing so powerful ready to hold the world in your hands here they are saying that uh, you are going to uh, concretize the relationship that you want and they're saying that you are already I can see something here happening so or they are saying that you are dating someone they are saying that you have someone here stable they are saying that you are planting seeds for a receiving uh, a, uh, a connection that is more um, rooted all right because if this is not already in in your uh, surroundings all right if this is not happening already in your life they are seeing that you are ready to plant those roots because the wheel of for fortune has turned and now the gates are open are opening for you because you understood the root of the problem I don't know if you ever heard about generational um, um, problems that normally uh, if you look at your lineage, if you look uh, at what happened with your grandfather, grandmother, uh, mother, father and uh, you keep going, there is in general some subject that is passing through generations, something so that you can deal with it and try to to have another ending in that in that um, in that uh, problem yes there was something here that you found that really made you believe that uh, a true relationship would be pro possible for you and that relationship could be also adventurous maybe before you were afraid that a strong relationship wouldn't be adventurous for example but you now realize that together with someone you can have it all you can make uh, everything that you wish grow um, it's very important it's very important to be sure about what you want as you know it's very important to write down in a diary be specific about what you want the more you dream the more you manifest even if you are already in this relationship remember never to stop manifesting in your life it's very important to keep going with manifestations so the more you dream the more you are specific and daydream about things too write it down the easier and the man because right now you are a manifester these people are seeing that right now you can have wherever you want this is a very very positive reading my loves this is you waking up to your power basically you waking up to your manifestation rights to your manifestation um, you know skills and you doing it because there's something here that you are already manifestation can be any kind of resources that before you lost because I saw some some losing some resources here now you have the power to have it back you're manifesting everything that you want everything that you want all right and um, yeah it's kind of you have your cup full and you can even offer to others right now you really understood how to manifest here now, of course, these people are saying that what you have, it might be um, a trick or kind of, um, 
you are showing showing up and showing up showing out you are kind of showing <laughs> how do you say this in english it's like you are um, show oh my god now i forgot the word i'm so sorry it's like you know what you are saying is that you are showing something that it might not be true um you are showing something that you uh, already manifested things but they think these people who hurt you they think that is on purpose you are doing that on purpose to hurt them all right they don't know for sure and they are thinking that there was a plan here with other people so that you could now show to these people that you are winning these people that who hurt you are thinking that you are playing kind of game here though they are seeing you like that they are just like mm, they, they are doing this just so that we can see or you know they are kind of not wanting to believe in so much resources that you have right now uh well you know we can never stop these kind of people of thinking whatever they want to think they are always going to think uh things and normally uh, they don't admit uh the truth because uh it's like their ego sometimes couldn't survive to that so they are going to create stories about things but yes they are seeing you winning here they are seeing you celebrating a victory here and there are people helping you celebrate and it can be it's some kind of resources that you are receiving you are planting seeds or you are already in a connection and you are or you are planting seeds to enter in a very hard based connection and there is something financial here that i also see that they are they are thinking that you are receiving too right but at, at the same time they are thinking like oh they are showing off oh i think it's showing off that you say <laughs> they are showing off all right so i think these people are not your friends anymore if they were uh they are not your friends or they were never your friends yeah these people um though i i think you had here a heart heartbreak from because you retreated in an emotional uh way and you start giving to yourself but there was always here a struggle with this with this connection of or with this group of people there was always something here that these people try to uh, crash here yeah they they say that you went through a phase of very difficult very painful but you retreated you retreated you start giving yourself the power instead of giving to the situation you start really taking care of yourse yourself taking care of your roots like i explained before and now you are just looking back with your manifestation powers because you really understood maybe what i see here is that they are saying that you understood that you have more value that uh, you were giving to yourself because they are saying that you couldn't see the value you had by that time and right now you are seeing it and you are kind you are you are exuding that power you went through they are saying that you went through a very a big transformation and right now you are in your power all right my love so i hope this resonated with you let me know in the comments um and we will see each other next readings bye hi my dear group number three if you chose this group this is your reading my loves so let us check now um my dear group number three what are these people uh, thinking about you these people who hurt you now first of all they are thinking that you really are hurt right now this was very very serious 
very, very serious. They are talking about um, your self-confidence that was somehow crushed here. I believe that there was something you were not seeing about something, someone that you trust. All right? You were not seeing it. And some there was a betray here that you were kind of uh, not seeing it coming at all. And it was something that really manifested here. All right. This is the, num the first thing I see here. Now, there was some stability in your life. You had a certain stability. They are thinking that you really were, uh, a, you really had a kind of illumination here about a certain thing that you know, an answer. You had an answer coming into your life. Something that really illuminated uh, some darkness here, something that you couldn't see. It's interesting that we have here the infinitive and there you have the eight. So something that suddenly you saw. And wherever suddenly you saw, you thought that you had to take sudden action towards this and you finished you ended here a connection with someone if this is your group my loves I believe this is about your ex because you ended something here all right there was a, any kind some kind of betrayal here a connection that didn't uh, succeed uh, they are thinking that you were very hard broken here all right and um, yeah and it basically everything was affected in you they they are they are thinking that your power your your divine feminine was affected and you were not acting um, in your normal way of acting. Now, uh, it could be that suddenly you started to put your uh, your interests first. We because we are th we are we are reading here about what they are thinking, and they are thinking that you start acting um, out of your um, normal energy. Maybe in a kind of a manipulative way, they are, they are thinking. And um, so this, this is about what they are thinking, all right? Uh, it might not be the truth here of the situation. But they are thinking that you started acting in a kind of... Um, because you were feeling so broke inside, your heart was, was really bleeding and it's like your divine feminine was so crushed here that everything seems like seem to seem as an obstacle for you to achieve some clarity um, inside yourself they are saying and thinking that you are you went through something very very difficult something very very painful in your lives that didn't just uh, end your stability emotional um, connection that you had here but also uh, your finances they are thinking that you feel defeated here and once you had something so stable but right now they are thinking that you cannot you are not uh, winning uh, and you feel you feel defeated here and how you were acting is uh, perhaps in they are thinking that you're acting out of anger all right now uh, my loves I believe that um, this is 
this person way of thinking about our, your actions but if you went through all of these that i'm seeing my loves it was so so difficult that they might be they might be seeing you backfiring you know and they are thinking that they you are doing this just because just to affect them but in actuality i believe that you are doing whatever you need to do so that you can find the light inside of so many heartbreak that you had here because I believe that you felt that this person really betrayed you and took part of your energy even creative energy And the most difficult part here is that you were not seeing it. And this person is thinking that, which means that they knew. They knew that you were not seeing it. So I would like to know here what kind you know i would like to know here uh, an advice for you an advice for my dear group number three about this situation with this group of people or with this person an advice for my dear group number three transform change change don't be afraid of being uh, of Putting things uh, to, you know, finishing cycles and starting cycles, new cycles for you. There is some, there is a beautiful light wanting to be born inside of you. Now it's time for you to go inwards, my loves. It's time perhaps that you think about your past for a while, to think about your childhood, to take care of your inner child, search for meditations about your inner child. There is some protection here that you need to have around you at the moment and all your focus at the moment should be in yourself, it should be in your uh, prosperity and abundance. But right now, just taking care of yourself. Little things, all right? Little things. Um, taking care of you. Like, um, you know, little acts every day that you, it will make you feel good. I don't know. Uh, buy something beautiful that you love for you. Give you some presents. Um, read that book that will really make you feel better go through the stages go through the stages and understand the stages of uh, of grief all right there's something here that needs to go away because you need a big transformation here in your life and what transformation is this how my group number three can what transformation will come out of this I believe that you will start um, you will start listening to yourself you will start listening to your intuition respect more your inner voice your inner voice having more confidence in your inner voice all right the big transformation is that you are going to be more self-confident confident and you know this relationship needs to go away it's the end of this relationship there is a transformation here needs wanting to come into your life a new cycle opening for you uh, so that you can start seeing things more clearly 
you know life talk talk with us life is always talking with us with situations with signs with everything and sometimes we don't want to see sometimes uh, we don't trust ourselves and that's why I believe you are going to start to trust yourself to trust your inner guidance and trust in every in the signs that life are giving you is giving you you know when um, we are in a phase that needs to transform and then things start to to go wrong and it's just like a little sign that starts and then you have another sign and then time goes by you don't listen to that you have a bigger sign you know things they start showing they start showing it's just that humans they don't listen their inner voice uh, anymore they are disconnected disconnected and I believe that you're going to start learning how to see its sign how to see the signs all right and respect them and understand that communication might not be just words people can communicate in many many ways a behavior is the communication when somebody has a lot of things to do and cannot be with you for many days you know that's a communication when someone doesn't put you um, you know doesn't um, I don't know forget something important for you forget something important for the connection for the relationship that is a sign you know is signs everything is always giving signs 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 and uh, listening that to them learning to interpretate those signs you know you are going to be doing that because there is something here there is a cycle with um, a love cycle that needs to die here so that, that you can trust your inner voice much more and understanding that life is always communicating with you in this new cycle because the number 10 is about a new cycle in your life it can be that you are going to be more carefree traveling um, finding inside yourself the, your house not in the exterior you know it can be that in the process you change homes it can be that but it's also a way so that you can have your freedom here you can learn to trust yourself and a way to uh, transform yeah that heartbreak needs to be healed it's time to to heal your heart it's time to heal your heart now and I believe that you're going to make research here it would be important for you to make any kind of research about healing healing a heartbreak and there are so many youtubers that uh, really talk about experience of course someone a specialist that you can listen to um, as so many uh, books also especially that you can read about the subject can read about different types of personality um, and how to get out of toxic relationships uh, how to get out of a manipulative relationships all right and um, I think that you are going to learn a lot and is in the process of that learning that you are going to trust more and more in yourself there is a deep healing that needs to go to go on here for you my loves there is a big healing yeah so let me just take here just another advice with these cards I love these cards just an advice for my dear group number three here don't contain your emotions inside 
uh, find a friend, find someone to talk. Find someone to talk. It's very important to talk about what you are feeling. And also, um, because you love when somebody listens to you, listen also to what others have to say. And also, embrace your life. Embrace your life. Um, there is an adventure here waiting for you. I believe the end of this uh, connection that you had with this person is going to make you want to be more adventurous. Even perhaps um, getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of what you once called home and starting an adventure in your life. All right. I'm so sorry about this situation and I hope that I could brought you some clarity somehow here. Oh, um, yeah. So uh, let me know in the comments if this resonated and we will see each other next readings. Bye.